When mixing body filler, there's a few tips that can, you know, help ensure success. The, uh, after, you know, getting a, a good size, you know, the amount of body filler you need, important first step is to knead your tube of hardener. Ensure that it's mixed up. Uh, you want to All right, you want to make sure that you have the, the appropriate amount of hardener. Hardener is actually a uh, corrosive element. If you, and if you put too much uh, hardener in your body filler, yeah, it'll harden up really nice and you can work with it. But that excess, you know, the excess hardener will actually uh, migrate toward the metal or tar down from the surface and actually can start corroding the metal beneath your body filler. So you don't want to use more body or more hardener than you actually need. And uh, that way, you know, you ensure you get a good bond and that you're not actually doing more damage than you are good. When, when actually mixing body filler, you just want to like pull it in the same direction. And it kind of goes against the way a lot of guys, you know, I've seen guys like go back and forth and go back and forth. And what happens then is you actually start whipping air into the body filler itself. So when you go to sand out the patch, you start getting all kinds of pinholes in the body filler from the air bubbles that have been formed. So, you know, you... Uh, Kind of just spread it in one direction. Until you get a good, even mix. Also, you notice that I'm working on a, this is actually a, what they call a Bondo board, and it has tear-off sheets. And the reason why I do it on here is because if you mix your Bondo or body fillers on cardboard or a piece, uh, piece of wood, what happens is the resins in the body filler actually soak into the cardboard and just leave the plastic. So you end up with uh, body fillers with less of a bond. The resins are what really do the work in a body filler. So you want to mix on a surface that the resins won't penetrate. And by using a Bondo board, once I've done, I can just tear off the sheet and I have a new clean layer to work from.